Hi, I'm Chef Ange. Welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, we're gonna be making a chicken piccata. Chicken piccata is a great dish because it requires minimal fresh ingredients, uh, a few pantry ingredients, just some basic chicken, and uh, you got a really wonderful dish that's easy enough for a weeknight, and fancy enough for a weekend or a date night. Let's start off with our fresh ingredients. We're gonna prep everything, and then we're gonna take everything over to the stove. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep our garlic. Whenever I'm prepping ingredients, I always like to start off with the uh, the cleanest to, to prep down to the messiest. So uh, garlic and shallots are pretty easy. We're gonna take our bowl and we'll work right over our bowl to catch any of the, the garlic skin that falls off. And how I like to clean garlic is, especially when it's only a couple pieces, is take the clove, push it in between your fingers till you hear a little crack, and then with a little pressure, just roll it in between your palms and the paper comes off very nicely. So now I'm just going to clip off uh, the, the root end of my garlic. Now to crush and chop our garlic, I'm going to pull the garlic close to the end of the cutting board so the uh, handle of the knife is off. Nice uh, open finger, fingers, uh, so nice open fingers and downward pressure, and I'm going to crush that, that clove of garlic. And I'll keep repeating. So now from here, I'm gonna go with a rough chop all the way through. Next up is our shallot. So for the shallot, we're gonna clip off the root end. We're gonna clip off the other end. I'm gonna take my knife, just run it just down the side. And now from here, I'll take off any of the loose skin. I'm gonna take the shallot, just like the garlic, pull it over to the edge of the table, or the edge of the cutting board, and I'm gonna use my knife and cut crosswise through, but not all the way. And then I'm gonna go down into the shallot, cutting these strips without going all the way through, leaving the one end intact so it's gonna hold everything all together. And now from here, with my chopping motion, chop all the way through the shallot. So now, next up are our lemons. The first one's gonna be really easy. We're just gonna cut the lemon directly in half. And we're gonna use this for juicing. So for our other lemon, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut slices. So we have three pieces of chicken that we're gonna cut crosswise. So we're gonna have six uh, slices of chicken. So that means we need six lemon slices to top with. So now I'll use this lemon maybe for some juicing a little later. Uh, so now over my scrap bowl, I'm gonna pick out any seeds in any of the lemon slices. So the last thing I'm gonna have to, to prep is my parsley. Um, for the parsley, we're gonna just use the leaves and we're gonna pull the stems off. Now with our parsley, we're gonna push it into a pile. We'll give it a rough chop. So now to prep the chicken, it's gonna be pretty easy. I'm gonna take each one of these chicken breasts and I'm gonna cut them crosswise. Uh, the chicken breast usually has two, two ends. It has the round end and the point end and it's always easier to start at the, the broader, uh, rounder end and just use my knife with the handle off the cutting board so I don't get a weird angle on it and I keep my knife pretty horizontal. I'm not pushing through, but I'm just using a, like a light sawing motion to get two equal thinner pieces. And I'm gonna take those and we'll throw those in a mixing bowl. So 
so now to season the chickens can be pretty simple. We're gonna take a, a little olive oil and we're gonna use the olive oil to coat the chicken so our seasoning can stick. So we'll put a little base seasoning in there and now from here, I'm gonna use my hands to mix and coat the chicken. One thing I've done is brought all my ingredients over by the stove and lined them up in the order at which I'm gonna use them. And it just makes assembly really easy so you're not scrambling around the kitchen like looking for things. So you just need to stay in one spot right by, right by your stove and you can start assembling. So I've got my pan on a medium high heat. I've also preheated my oven to a low broil. Uh, if you don't have a broil setting, just put it up there, probably like 415, 425. That would mimic like the high heat of a broil, but I do have the broil setting, so I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna warm it up now, so as soon as we're done on the stove, we can go right into the oven. So now when I put the chicken breast in, I'm gonna put the, the fat side on the outside and the pointy end in, and that's just gonna just make sure that I can get all of my pieces inside. I'm gonna sear for a couple minutes each side until I get a good browning on each side. I'm gonna to try to do it as many, or I'm gonna to try to leave it for as long as possible on one side before I have to flip it. But if I have to flip any pieces over just for some extra browning, that's okay. And remember, you don't wanna cook the chicken all the way through. You just wanna brown it on one side and then quickly flip it over. That browning looks perfect. So now I'm gonna flip over the rest of the pieces. From here, while my pan is still hot, I'm gonna recapture a lot of this browning that's going on on the bottom of this pan. So I've already turned my heat down a little bit, and now I'm gonna add just a touch of olive oil, and I'm gonna add my shallots in. Now we're gonna start adding our liquid in, and as soon as we start adding the liquid, we're gonna start to scrape the bottom of the pan and deglaze everything that's happening in there. So I'm gonna put a, a heavy splash of some white wine vinegar, a couple teaspoons or a tablespoon, and you can see as soon as I did that, that liquid started to, to capture a lot of the, the brown on the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna add maybe a quarter or half a cup of white wine. And about equal volume of chicken stock. I'm gonna put my lemon juice in there first just to see how much that brings up the volume of liquid. So I'm gonna squeeze both lemons or both half a lemon in there. So now we're gonna put a little Dijon mustard in there. A teaspoon or two. And then we're also gonna put in some, some chicken bouillon paste and maybe a, again about a teaspoon or two. With a whisk, I'm gonna whisk in those two ingredients into the liquid. Add a little salt and a little pepper. So now we're gonna return our chicken back into the pan. So just like I did before, the fat end on the outside, the points in the middle, it makes for a really nice presentation in the pan and it also is functional and allows you to get all the chicken back in the pan. So now I'm gonna take a lemon slice and put it on top of each one of the pieces of chicken. And we'll also take our sauce and we'll spoon it over the chicken and the lemon slices. So now last thing before this goes in the oven is gonna get our capers on there. 
for the capers, just sprinkle them right over the top of each piece of chicken. And a couple, you know, capers are round so they'll fall in the sauce. But we want the capers on top of the chicken as much as possible. So now this is gonna go in our preheated oven, probably for five to 10 minutes. So now that our chicken's been in the oven for about seven to 10 minutes, we're gonna pull it out. And you can see now that the sauce has been reduced a little bit. I got some good browning on the outside of the lemon. You, know, you can take this and just wrap up the handle. You could throw this right on the plate, uh, right on the table, and this is good to go. Uh, we just need to sprinkle a little parsley on top. And once you sprinkle that parsley, a nice contrast between the darkness of the, of the chicken, the lightness of the sauce, and the vibrant green color of the, of the parsley. How good does that look? So now to transfer to our serving plate, we'll take a spatula and we'll pick up each piece of chicken and put it on there and we're gonna pour the juice on after. Just take a sprinkle more of that parsley just on top of each piece just to brighten it up a little bit. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know how your chicken piccata comes out and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.